Uh, just a couple things I forgot about these glasses. Um, one is they're waterproof, so that was kind of an important note that I forgot to mention. Um, to the battery life, uh, it says an hour um, in the booklet. Uh, I got an hour and a half out of them the other day just testing them. Uh, I will say it uses the MOV uh, movie file format, and that's fine. Um, however, it breaks it up into 10-minute chunks. So while you don't have to do anything with the glasses, uh, if you record an hour, you wind up with, I don't know, 12 or whatever, 10-minute uh, segments. Um, 10, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. <coughs> uh, no, I guess that would be 6. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so you have to kind of piece them together, which is, you know, and, and they do that because they use an old file format um, originally produced by IBM that is free. Uh, if they use the same file format that, say, premium brands use, say, like uh, Senna or uh, GoPro, they would be, uh, they'd have to pay a license to Microsoft. And so, they're you know, just in trying to cut the costs, they... They uh, skimp on things like that. So um, if you get the more premium version of these glasses or, or ones like them, uh, they probably work better. Um, they probably have the MP4, which also requires a license, which is why they use MOV. And um, they probably use the FAT32 file system, which, again, you have to pay a license for. So uh, you don't have the uh, limit on the file size, which is why they break it up into little segments. Um, for me, it's not a problem, but just something to be aware of. Um, the other thing is, uh, these glasses, uh, they work really well as sunglasses, by the way. Um, but they, they work, um, they have clear lenses you can pop in there. Uh, you could also probably get prescriptions that will pop in there. Um, take them to your local, um, eyeglass place, and I'm sure they can, these are kind of standard size gla uh, lenses, so there's, Shouldn't be too hard to get prescriptions for them. Um, what I like about it is it leaves my hands free to do, you know, whatever. And uh, I got both hands and, you know, I can work and do whatever, <clears throat> which is kind of nice. Um, the other thing it does is uh, if your TV or monitor supports it, you can do USB playback through the glasses and so if you record something, you can play it back on your TV. If it again, if it supports it, most of them, uh, most of the newer ones, in the last you know within the last ten years support that. So, um, uh, let's see what else. Uh, so, uh, so I re like I said, I recorded a, almost an hour and a half worth of video, and it only used seven gig of the thirty-two gig. So you don't have to delete stuff right away. So which is kind of nice. Uh, it does take about an hour and a half, two hours to charge it back to full, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. Um, and if you get the more premium, the higher end versions of these, they come with a, uh, a Bluetooth connectivity to your phone uh, or Wi-Fi, depending on the model you get, uh, which lets you use your phone as a monitor so you can see on the phone screen, you know, what it is you're doing. Um, so uh, these are also not really good for monologues. So if you're one that sits in the garage and talks directly to the camera a lot, uh, you could do that with these by putting them on a shelf or something, but I mean, you know, it's probably not ideal, but you could do it. Um, but anyway, I, so I think, you know, overall, they're going to work fine for me. Um, we'll see, um, you know, how they work in the helmet. That's going to be the next thing, but it's either been snowing or raining since I got them, so I haven't had a chance to get out on the bike and test them. Um, I still haven't gotten a helmet either. I got to do that um, before too much longer. Um, and generally, I think that's it. I just wanted to kind of uh, update everybody on those things I forgot because I suck at reviews apparently. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so, yeah, just something to keep in mind. So, I'll talk to you later.